What's up guys, welcome to a brand new video. I'm Ambassador Zimmy and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do a factory reset on your Xbox One console. Now, there's gonna probably be one of two reasons why you're going to want to actually even do this. The first reason is going to be if you're wanting to sell your Xbox One to GameStop or on Craigslist to somebody else or maybe just a buddy and you don't want to have your Xbox Live profile games and everything like that uh, linked onto your account and you just want to wipe it completely clean just like it's fresh out of the box with a factory reset that's going to be the first reason why you would want to do this the second reason why you would want to do this is let's say that something's happening like there's some software errors you're not able to uh, play with people or you're not able to play games or just you know just as a basic troubleshooting step now with that being said, if you're wanting to do this to fix an issue on your Xbox, um, I would definitely suggest doing a power cycle on your console or something like that. Uh, definitely do some other troubleshooting steps before doing a factory reset because this is pretty much like your last option of what you can actually physically do on your console to troubleshoot a problem. Now, with that being said, let me just go ahead and show you how to do a factory reset. So to do this, you're gonna have to hit the Xbox button to open up the guide menu or just hit left on your left analog screen to get to the guide menu. Now, we're going to want to scroll down all the way down here to the gear, to the settings gear and click all settings. Now, once we're at the settings page, we're going to want to scroll down here to the system tab, then scroll over to console information. Once we're here, scroll down and click reset console. Now, once we're at this option, it gives us basically two options, reset and remove everything. Now, this is what I would suggest if you're wanting to uh, sell your console and just make sure that your account and everything is completely wiped off of it, That this is the option that I would definitely recommend. Now, the second option, which is a really, really cool option, actually on the Xbox 360, they didn't have this option, I don't believe, is reset and keep my games and apps. So basically what this does is the same exact thing that reset and remove everything does the only difference is that you it will actually keep your games and apps installed on your system so you don't actually have to re-download them for instance if you have a really slow internet connection and you have uh, digital games then selecting this option would make it where you wouldn't have to download those games and wait you know a day and a half to be able to play those games again so once you figured out which option you want to do just click a on it it will take a little bit of time to reset the console whenever it's done it will restart the console and then you will have to sign into your account and re-download your account so that means that you will need your email and your password to get back into the account if you don't know that I would definitely recommend calling Xbox customer support and seeing if there's a way of them, you know, resetting your password or something like that. Now, the final thing I'm going to be talking about is um, what a lot of you guys are probably very hesitant about doing a factory reset. Either option will delete your saved games and your account. So a lot of people are very hesitant about doing a factory reset because they, they don't want to lose their saved games. Now fortunately Microsoft has built the Xbox One a lot better than the Xbox 360 in this sense that pretty much all of your games so long as you play your single player games online while connected to Xbox Live all of your saved game files are saved onto the Xbox Cloud. So whenever you do your factory reset, whenever you start up those games again for the first time, whether you have to download them or you can just you know restart them, it will give you an option to sync your saved data. Alrighty guys, well I hope this video really helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you guys never wanna miss out on any of my videos, whether it be my Xbox tutorials, game trailers, or just general Xbox news, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell. Also, if this video, also, if you guys have any questions about this video, if I wasn't specific enough uh, for anything, or if you just have any general Xbox questions, please make sure to comment them down in the comment section below, and I will try to respond to those as quickly as I can. Like always, thank you guys so very much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace out, guys.